Hey there, everyone. Hey, Icy, welcome to the stream. And there was a name I missed on the last stream um, during, during Splatfest. Uh, if you notice on the um, event log there, we got a follow from Lil Dopey. I don't know if he's watching right now, but regardless, welcome to, welcome to the Particle Acceleration. I hope you enjoy your stay. Um, if you're wondering why we had a late time today, I didn't sleep well, partly because uh, I am a little under the weather <clears throat> with a sore throat, and uh, my sore throat was a lot worse earlier, and, and it was kind of preventing me from sleeping, so, yeah, and something interesting, the, uh, the Splatfest video is over 11 hours long, I uploaded it to Twitch, and I uploaded it to um, YouTube. The Twitch copy is still processing. <laughs> the YouTube video, on the other hand, is up and ready for viewing. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of weird. And also, I and also I I just made my lunch too. Mm. Dana doesn't like it when I don't eat lunch before work, so I promised her I'd eat lunch today before work. Bobby eating during the stream again. <laughs> By the way, not only are we gonna have the Yule log for um, Rim Tracks, hmm? Um, Dana tells me Rift Tracks has a new Christmas special. <laughs> there is something to do on Christmas. Greenbow, welcome to the stream. Also, I have three days of work until my 12-day weekend. Now, I will tell you, during my 12-day weekend... Oh that, mean, oh, that means I didn't change it right on the schedule. Hold on. I, I forgot about that in the schedule. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, what the? That's that's right. Hold on. No, don't pin. Edit. I'm trying to edit the copy of the schedule on Discord. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> During my 12-day weekend, my stream will be at the usual Friday and Saturday night time. Because what that does is it gives me and Dana the whole day to do whatever we want. <laughs> so starting with Thursday night stream, starting with Thursday night stream, every stream will be at 11 p.m. Eastern. Until uh, until the new year. Except there likely will not be a stream on New Year's Eve. It all depends on if Dana and I go out for New Year's Eve. We usually do. There also might not be a stream on Christmas. We will see. But for right now, I'm DJ Particle. This is Particle Play Live! Also, I may as well tell you um, if you haven't heard it yet, the Splatfest results because I've already gone, I've already gone through it here and gotten my snails. But all right, we've got Starfish Main Stage and um, hump, that Pump Track for the Turf War courses. Um, the Splatfest was won by Team Villains. Those vile, vile villains got their victory after all. Curse them. Uh, and this morning, I was splatting with uh, Yukon, who, by the way, is another great streamer. He streams um, every weekday morning. 
He's also on Team Minnesota Nice, except he's from upstate Minnesota. <laughs> but um, but he does he does mostly Splatoon, mostly ranked. Although sometimes he'll take a break from ranked and splat with viewers. And while I was splatting with him, my American tune reached level seventy-one. So that's why we're on the Japanese tune right now, because it's time for the Japanese tune to hit seventy-one. And yes, this week there will be a Super Smash Wednesday. Mm. But the next Super Smash Wednesday after that won't be until January 9th. Because of Frosty Fest. Because of Frosty Fest Splatfest T grind. So right now I will leave the uh, Splatfest result for the for the uh, Super Smash Splatfest up. That's why that's why I don't have the the, the next Splatfest thing on right away. Cause I want to leave the uh, the result for the Super Smash Splatfest up for about a week or so, or at least until voting opens for Frosty Fest. But Frosty Fest's question is, who would you rather spend the holidays with? Your friends or your family? I've already decided I will be on Team Family, by the way. But keep in mind, family does not necessarily mean your biological family. Oh, they're just, they're just throwing chickens at us. Holy cow. Holy shit, we're outranked. Why, the, why do the matching servers do this? Seriously, why do they do this? Ah! Under fire, two different ways. Oh, we also have a disco! A splat roller! Oh, damn! Oh, damn! God, they won't even let us have our spawn point! What kind of lobby did I get into here? I get into here. God, we were pretty much in danger from the word go.
You're back at the turnover laundry. Okay. But yeah, we were practically in danger from the word go with that one. Chicken burger. Chicken burger with an undersized bun. McDonald's stopped making the Szechuan sauce again. And no, my chicken burger is not from McDonald's. It's just every time I have a chicken burger, because you see, when they had the Szechuan sauce out, Dana and I got a whole big bag of them. And I used to put them on chicken burgers when we when we would get when we get when we have um, when we have frozen chicken burgers. But you know what I found was a good substitute, though. It's, it's not the same taste, but still, but still great. Poison sauce. Explosher, no. No explosion, not allowed. Damn! They just got a three-quarter wipe on us. Well, that got them out of danger. Jeez! Jumping like a little jumping bean! I see the Arbinator. No, I did not see the Arbinator. Oh God. Does Arby does Arby have heart attack on the bun now? Seems like everyone's been putting out heart attack on the bun. You know, like the Baconator. The double down from KFC. So does Arby's have one of those now? Heart attack on the bun? literally a burger with curly fries and cheese on ham? What? Okay, that's just weird. Mm. Tomorrow's your last day to switch online till Christmas. Hmm. That's 
sucks, Greenbow. Oh, it's not burger, a ham sandwich with curly fries and cheese. Oh, geez. Now, see, I probably wouldn't like that because I usually don't like our Arby's curly fries. They're a little too seasoned for me. situate myself here. We got Icy in the lobby. Greenbow in the lobby. We got Greenbow on my team. And the missiles. There we go. My ink reservoir back. I miss all that. I miss that too. I love Ninja Squid. God, I love Ninja Squid. I miss it so much during Splatfest. That roller really gets around, and oh, we're gonna lose! We have them in danger at the beginning of the match, and we're gonna freaking lose. Ah, crap! Micha, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? We're just having a short splatty stream today. Started an hour late. Because I couldn't sleep due to a sore throat, which I still partially have. Good and nervous. Why nervous? Come in and splat that nervousness away. Oh, finals. Mm-hmm. I hear you there. So 
someone made a GameCube controller that functions like a pro controller? Like complete with motion controls? Not that you need motion controls for Super Smash, but... Play games on school days. Uh, Haha! <clears throat> oh, Dana got hooked on a new game recently. It's not embarrassing. It's cute. Yeah, she, she got Disney's Magical World 2. Well, the thing is, she likes Animal Crossing. And she, and she was told it was a lot like Animal Crossing. Because she's pretty much done everything you can do in Animal Crossing. And she wanted something basically to hold her over until Animal Crossing for the Switch came. So, so she got that. Got me after all. <laughs> oh, they're still after me. Oh, damn. How many charges did they? Just the one. No, I don't think we won that one. We did! By just over 1%. That sounds like fun. It apparently is fun. She's been playing it for hours already. I said, basically think of it as a cross between Animal Crossing and Kingdom Hearts. Basically, like Animal Crossing, you make friends with all kinds of weird characters and and do and do cute mundane tasks for them. And it's like Kingdom Hearts in that you go to the worlds of various Disney properties. So it's, it's so it's like Kingdom Hearts, but without the high adventure. Uh-huh. And Dean is so embarrassed. I don't know why she has to be so embarrassed. She's embarrassed because the game is made for uh, for girls that are only a fraction of her age. Uh, 
Ah! Ah! I was hoping to just pop up again like I did that one squid two games ago. No, not in our home base. I'm not letting you send Tenta missiles into our home base. No, no, no. Not got that. Wouldn't be prudent. Not this juncture. Ah! Can we get that sniper on our team, please? Good. Got the last of those patented squid beacons. Now, now, excuse me while I clean up this mess in our home base. wipe earlier or something? Ah. Mitra, I would play that game everywhere and I'm not even a girl. <laughs> ah. hey, yeah. Yeah, it's available if, if you want. If you want, it's available for the 3DS. And it is cute as all fuck. But that also begs the question, if that's Disney's Magical World 2, what system was Disney's Magical World 1 for? Oh, you don't have a 3DS anymore. I still have mine. One of these days, I have to send it to uh, What's-His-Face in Japan and get retrofitted with a capture card. Because one thing that, because one of the things I want to do after Splatfest send is I want to do a, what's basically a, um, a, a Mario Kart retrospective. Like take, like take nine days, take nine stream days, and just do each of the Mario Kart games in succession. home base. They're not even bothering with mid because they're in our freaking home base.
God, there's someone over there inking like me. Someone on their team is inking like me. Jeez! Oh, come on! I just fixed this! Welcome to the stream! God, did Greenbow... Did Greenbow just get a full team white boss all by himself? Yes, he did. Ah. Hashtag nerf green. <laughs> How's the splatting going? We're in a very difficult lobby right now. Although the previous time before that, I had Greenbow on my team, and we still lost. That's how difficult this lobby is. of Tenta Missiles or something. Get out of here, Charger. Um, why are they in our home base? Greenbow, where are ya? I got caught on the wrong side of the bumper. 
Oh, grand. Here they come. Ah! God, I got one and there was someone else there. Last minute, 10 to missiles. But I think we got this, though. Oh, God, that was close. Note to self, take the sniper out first. <laughs> what games are you looking forward to on the Switch that have been announced? You're looking forward to Bayonetta 3. I don't know, actually. I honestly don't know what I'm looking forward to next. No more heroes, Travis returns? No, that's not, not my style. Nor are the Bayonetta games, weirdly enough. I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, I gotta think. I know, I know Dana's looking forward to Animal Crossing, but I'm, but I'm not the Animal Crossing sort of person either. So. I guess one thing I'm really looking forward to, actually, is if they ever come out with a um, with a with a Super Nintendo game pack, like they did for the NES game pack. Super Nintendo was the system that got me through college. God, there's still someone there? But they have a freaking splatling? No, it's Dooley's. Jeez, it's HO again, frickin' HO! I told you we were in a tough lobby. Come on. <clears throat> this one's going to be close, folks. 
The whole time you're playing, the whole time playing Bayonetta, you're just yelling, yes, queen, yes. <laughs> um, supposedly, uh, Lady Gaga is a big fan of Bayonetta. It explains some of her uh, performing outfits. It really does. Looking back, she has worn some outfits that are reminiscent of Bayonetta. That Chaz guy really knows how to use a roller. I know, right? He never knew that. Yeah, she uh, tweeted about it once. She tweeted about um, how she's trying to how she's trying to make her way through Bayonetta too. And it turns out uh, Ariana Grande is a big fan of Mario Kart. Okay, who's got the brush? Someone on my team's got the brush. Got me. Whoo! Payback. Oh, come on, team! One? Holy crap! <sighs> you want another Pikmin game, David? Apparently, and that's coming next year, too. Honestly, I did not think we were going to win that. <laughs>
But what I really want though is more games with online multiplayer. Because I can play with all of you. Pikmin 4 has been in development since Pikmin 3 development ended. I can believe that. I still think it's weird that Starfish Main Stage still has Splatoween decorations. There's another one. Oh, Greenbow's on my team, but look like well, it looks like he gets splatted earlier. Oh, they're all in our home base. All four of them are in our home base. You know what? If all four of them are going to be in our home base... Let me look at that. Hey, oh, yeah. Yep, Greenbow's got the right idea. Greenbow's got the right idea. Vita. Level 71 here. Oh, two of us disconnected. Ah, oh, jeez.
But how badly did we lose that last game by Greenbow? I got in the way. And, I, and you know what? I think Chaz still got away, even after all that. I think Chaz still got away. Shit! That's three times. That's three times she got me with that damn baller. Personally, I think chasing down a single squid with a baller is kind of petty, <laughs> but that's just me. I mean, I used to use a baller way back, way back when. Back when I was using the, I, I think it was the, uh, what was it, the uh, crack on splat roller, I think. Back when I was using the crack on, I was using the baller. And when I would ball, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't ball to try and kill other squids. I, 
what I would do is I would is I would ball into a nice big patch of enemy ink and then let it go. Danger! Jeez! Can we do anything out there, team? Please? Please? Yeah, and the yeah, Navita is really good. I need her on my team, damn it. <clears throat> a Hydra is a hard counter to a roller. Yep. Oh, God. Dana's saying her brain is smothering you. Oh, God. Navita, Chaz, and Greenbow on the same team. We are so kibbled. We are so kibbled. Yeah, Dana's saying her brain's being smothered with too much cute. <laughs> chance. Ah! Oh god, there are three rollers in the... All three rollers in the Hydra Splatling are on the same team.
shit! was ridiculous! Look at the, look at the splat ring on all three of those rollers. No, instead of evening the teams out, they made the teams worse! You had 10 splats? I know, I saw that. I got Chaz and Greenbow, but Navita still has that Hydra Splatling on the other team. Yep, and there go the rollers. All three of them. A, th a three-quarter wipe, though. The only reason why it wasn't a team wipe is because I'm here. get a lock on. Come on. 
Oh god. Where was it? Ah. Oh jeez. This time we're the ones that have the free rollers and we still lost. We won? Hey, Team Purple! Look at your home base compared to ours. Yeah, Team Purple, Team Purple lost from a malady called Bad Home Base. You know what? I just realized. You know what? I just realized just now. I forgot to do the stream announcement. Uh, well, but then again, I did announce in the Discord that I would be an hour late. And I also put that in the stream announcement channel, too. So, eh. that area again. I gotta stop missing that area. Who's on my team? Oh, Navita's on my team this time, huh? I know Navita seems to be the uh, good luck charm in this lobby, for the most part. I mean, she lost the last game, but just for the most part. Oh, damn you, Giovanni. Just with that ball or Team Rockets blasting off again, huh? Oh, what the hell? Suction bomb, where? <laughs> Don't see suction bomb. Where's suction bomb?
Oh, that's all right. We very handily got this one. <clears throat> Archangel! To be fair, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to home bases. Yeah, and that was a good example why on the previous match. Archangel Anna says hi. Um, question is which Anna? I know, I know a few Annas. Annalise. You know her from a place that you... Oh! Hi! <laughs> Not going to say on stream. Well, I was basically one of my one of my coworkers at security. <laughs> she told me to look you up. Yeah, I'm I'm just a major splatooniac here. <laughs> But uh, yeah, basically my job is I, I, I sit at a desk with a bunch of other people in the call center, but it's not just a call center. We uh, monitor people's alarm systems. Well, we monitor mostly businesses' alarm systems. And occasionally, um, some, and occasionally, some incidents turn out to be actual, and we catch crooks. And over the last four years, I have caught many crooks. And let me tell you something. For any for any crooks who might have some ideas, you know, you know, gamers get stereotype of you know, gamers sometimes get stereotype of being lazy. You know what? Let me tell you something. If there's anything, if there's if there's any ability that yeah, it, it's sort of like a 911 dispatch, except we're not actually 911. We call 911. We we basically call 911. If we if we think there if we think there's a there's something that could be an actual incident. But um But basically but what, I'm, but what I was trying to say is people sometimes think gamers are lazy, you know? It's kind of a stereotype. But, let me tell you, if there's any hobby that prepares you for that type of alarm work, it's being a gamer. Being a gamer means you can react faster. You can click down the board faster. Because of the and because of that, I I have gotten many kudos about my job performance. Oh, was oh, this the pizza cheese? Yes. Ooh, pizza cheese. Mm. Yeah, not yeah. As Dana said, not cheese for pizza. But mozzarella cheese with bits of pepperoni and spice in it. Mm. 
mean, this isn't just mozzarella. It's pizza flavored cheese. That's really good. She wanted to watch. She may join you for a game. She has as well. Cool. Yeah, in my case, it's the game so nice I bought it thrice. <laughs> yeah, the argument of gamers being lazy is dumb. I know. But but what's the stereotypical image of a gamer? The stereotypical image of a gamer is is some or oh, is some is some is some over is some is some overweight, you know, either teenager or twenty something guy in his mom's basement playing video games. That's that's the stereotype. But very few of us meet that stereotype. Hell, half of us are women. Actually, a little over half of us are women, believe it or not. When in most recent studies, they said about 52% of all gamers are women. And I could not be happier about that. Yeah, yeah, is yes. Yeah, is yeah, yeah, and then the guys all yell at us and say and say, "Oh, your your stupid mobile games don't count." Well, in the in the word in the words of um, in the words of Adam ruins everything. Games are games. And hell. And whereas the pro scene is mostly male dominated. One of, one of the, uh, one of the top four Splatoon teams at, in the uh, Splatoon World Championships at Nintendo was headed by a girl. I don't think the team is around anymore because her, just simply because her, um, her Twitter no longer says she's a part, she's a part of the, of the group. But if you remember Australian Splatoon Australian professional competitive Splatoon team, Yana. Who, who was their front woman? Latias. She was basically the, she was the captain of the team. Oh, how did you get in here? know where she's gonna go too. She's gonna go right into our home base. Jeez! I got caught up on that damn bumper again. All right, that was a strong booyah bomb. Oh, there goes the game. <laughs> yeah, I put 300 hours in getting good at the game. I'm so lazy. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, Greenbow with 11 splats. And another, and another member of my team at 1434, and it was all for naught. Hello. Oh, I'm not that good, really. It's not like I'm X-Rank or anything. 
when it comes to rank battles, I'm probably somewhere around a B plus or A minus. I, I, I'm, I was never good enough for X. All right, I think I got time for a couple more. Better than me, you're only level 12. Well, all, all in Splatoon, all level is 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 how off is how much you played the game. That's all level is in Splatoon is just how long you played the game. Now with me. Now I know a lot, now I mean, notice I have not prestiged yet, I don't have the star by my number. But then again, keep in mind I have three copies of the game. I've got the American version, the Japanese version, which is the one I'm playing now, and the European version. And they're all around, the, and they're all three tunes are about the same level. This tune and my Euro tune are 70, my American tune just flipped 71 this morning. Now the thing with me is I like to I like to do the home base. The reason why I like to get the home base done first is because I have seen way too many battles that got decided by who had the better ring home base. Oh, which one got me? The baller, of course. Oh, they, they put all the rollers on the same team again. Oh, jeez. The green bow got me anyway. Oh, they have patented squid beacons in our territory. And... You're not playing anymore, are you, Isaiah? Ah, crap! Bye bye, Squid Beacons. There. Ah! Rainbow hiding in a minimum amount of ink. Oh, stop your squid bagging. Oh, uh, no, 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 you don't. about the rollers. These rollers just hide until someone comes near them. Including Greenbow. <laughs> oh, you always fall off of Starfish main stage? Ouch. Yeah, that was why we won. We we had what I call an effective disconnect, which is someone who doesn't play. <laughs> someone who basically refuses to play.
Rolling is a stealth game. Yeah, and it's even better when you have Ninja Squid. It's even better when you have Ninja Squid. I'm hoping by the time I'm done with this stream, this is going to be the last one, by the way. I'm hoping by the time I'm done with this stream, that my splat, that my 11-hour Splatfest video will finally be finished processing on Twitch. Because it is already up on YouTube. I mean, if you want to watch my uh, Splatfest video from this past weekend, it is already up on my YouTube. And you can and you can scroll down and find the link to my YouTube. Oh, never mind. Looks like I don't have time for another one after all. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, I was hoping we could get that in before the maps and modes changed, but no dice. Because I have to get ready to go to work. Let me turn my squid around. And uh, believe it or not, uh, no credits tonight. Um, no hostings and no new follows at this time, but that's okay. I, I, I didn't really um, announce this stream very well today. Just because I, just because I didn't get much sleep, but... But that was a nice hour and a half stream. Oh, and it finally finished. Yes, it finally finished. Good. Good, good, good. I am so glad. So, so what we're gonna, so what we're gonna do? So what we're gonna do is we are going to, we're gonna go back and. Um, we're going to go back and raid the uh, person I was hosting earlier. Uh, assuming he's uh, still streaming. Is he? Yes, he is. I was hosting, um, I was hosting uh, Zen Zacred earlier, so we're going to go and raid him again. And it would help if I actually um, typed it into the right window. We're gonna raise Zen Zachary. He's still playing Persona Five, um, so so stick with so stick with the raid and um, and wa and watch some funny and watch some funny slash dramatic um, anime type adventures. <laughs> so until tomorrow's stream, you, which which will be splatting again, you know what to do. Follow and subscribe. Join the Particle Acceleration. You can also join us on Discord. Hashtag, hashtag Discord no, dot. I can't talk. Exclamation mark Discord in the chat or scroll down to where it says join the particle acceleration on Discord. So until tomorrow, I'm DJ Particle. I'm out of here. Peace.